tonight on EA Sports. Super Bowl 56. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Dallas Cowboys. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the NFC champions, the Dallas Cowboys. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first and 10, here's Kaepernick. Oh, he's going to take a shot. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Jags have taken the early lead. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And if you're wondering how fast he was going, We drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. Now Kaepernick going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one in second down. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and press your advantage. No, oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. To throw, Kaepernick flushed out right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him for a loss of three. And it will be fourth down. They do go for it. It's Kaepernick. Now this is incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And it'll be a turnover. The offense set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. Here's a throw caught by Gronkowski. Oh, he breaks a tackle and he's got an alley. Pass the 20. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. And big play there on the catch and run. 65 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. didn't take long one play and we're already looking at a first and goal situation throwing now is Kaepernick the quick slant caught and he takes it in touchdown Jacksonville 
from 10 yards out. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football. And so this offense will head back out there. They're in excellent field position after the fumble recovery. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Kaepernick being chased out left. He'll try and run it. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. 14, Cowboys 7. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. From the gun, it's Kaepernick. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first. And it'll bring up third down now. To throw is Kaepernick. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Three catches for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. It's a first down. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence. And that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. <laughs> to throw, Kaepernick. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout. So as they take it over, we step aside. Kaepernick to throw on second down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. Well, they're going to try this. They need five full yards to hit the end zone here on fourth and goal, but they're going for it. They go for it on fourth and goal, but that winds up incomplete. Their turn. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. So after the INT, it's Kaepernick. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to fit it into Gronkowski there, and now it's second down. Two-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And the Jags are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Kaepernick now to throw. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Juju Smith-Schuster, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you gotta force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. Kaepernick now on first down. Going top shelf for... This is caught inside the 15. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. 39 yards there, a big one. I'm seeing a lot of hands on hips in that secondary, and I suspect 
a lot of mumbling under their breath as well because this defense has had no answer for the passing game here in the first half. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. And that one will fall incomplete. Intended for Philip. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Third and one. Kaepernick wants to throw on third and one. And that is caught. Good touchdown, Jacksonville. Juju Smith-Schuster as the first half is winding down. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Kaepernick now on first down. Going top shelf for Smith. He's got a man complete. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Give them 32 on the play. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Kaepernick. Gronkowski's got it on the crossing route. And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. They'll run on first down. Robinson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Now Kaepernick throwing on second down. That's complete right around the eight. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A 14. the fourth and final quarter as the offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. On first down, it's Robinson, and he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. Late stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense takes over first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Robinson, and they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. You call that a loss of five yards on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Here's Kaepernick to throw. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. 
They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now Robinson coughs up the football. It's loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Well, maybe it hasn't exactly been a Rembrandt, but they've been mistake-free to this point and finally cough it up. I don't think it's going to cost them the game. They should be fine. But, boy... So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Kaepernick looking to throw out to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Oh, they're throwing it on first down, but no one was open. So he gets flushed out of the pocket, runs towards the sidelines, gets out of bounds with a good gain and a first down. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Offense. Gotta keep baby. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, so just looking the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. That's caught inside the 20. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Juju Smith-Schuster with a record fourth Super Bowl touchdown tonight. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. But well, they certainly have the look of a team with something to prove, don't they? All week, as we prepared for this game, we kept reading about how they said they're going to play a full. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. They'll run on first down. It's Robinson, and he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. And the Jaguars have done it. Jacksonville, the Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely... Do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports